Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how to turn this box right here and the microphone underneath of it into a digital drum machine, which may sound absurd, but it actually works pretty well. So um, basically, basically all this is is I have a, a little dynamic microphone here on the end of this on the end of this mic stand, and I just have this box over it to kind of protect it. So, um, the box is actually what's going to be my drum pad basically. So whenever I hit that it's going to trigger a kick sample and actually uh, you can see it in the meter here so um, yeah we'll go ahead and switch over to the uh, to the computer view so that way I can kinda kinda show you how everything's set up okay so um, here we are in the uh, the computer view and um, I'm just gonna show you really quick whenever I well first of all, I'll solo this here this is the track that um, it's taking the audio from the microphone so whenever I hit this you just hear the box getting hit oh my bad <laughs> so that's that's this that's the source audio right there so um, whenever whenever everything's all set up and everything this is um, this is the audio being sent to the kick hold on that doesn't sound right There we go. Um, pretty cool, right? All it is is a, a box and a microphone. So um, I'll go ahead and show you how I have this set up real quick. First off, um, on this audio track, I have uh, have it set to record the microphone or just take input input from it. And um, the two most important, well, I guess there's a few pretty important controls in this. I don't really know how everything works, but uh, First off, you need to set uh, the drum MIDI channel to whatever you're going to use. I have it set to one for the kick, and uh, you also need to find the drum the drum MIDI MIDI note number. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, and then this right here, if you you see these double lines right here, if you click this and drag it, it controls the point at which uh, it actually triggers the MIDI note. So if I bring it way up here, see you can you can see these peaks aren't reaching it, but if I hit it really hard. Oh man, I can't even get that hard enough. Um, so if I drag it down a little bit, oh, of course I have the uh, I have this muted. So um, yeah, uh, that's that's really all I think that you need to know for this uh, for this plugin right here. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with it, but for very basics, it's all you really need. Um, you can also you have uh, three different filters here, and you can uh, you can set up different microphones or whatever, and uh, you can have different sources and trigger different different instruments um, with these three filters here, which um, I'm probably gonna end up doing here sometime if I get the time to mess around with it. So uh, that's all there really is to that, and I'll show you how I have contacts set up. So. Um, the, this is this right here is the sample that's uh, being triggered. Um, this kick right here, actually, both of these kicks, I, I believe, are being triggered. Oh nope, just the first one. Um, you you need to um, go to MIDI channel and go port A and select the first one. That's going to be that first MIDI channel that we uh, set the plugin up for. And um, you also need to go to your mapping editor and contact and uh, figure out which note is being used. In this case it's C1 and I don't know what is up with my audio today, that's really weird. One second. So, um... That's so, so weird. Anyways, so um, what you're going to want to do to find the uh, MIDI note numbers, just start at the first one and count all the way up to where you're at. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. But actually this very first note here I believe counts as zero because it ended up being 36 on mine. So um once you figure out that number you go back over here to uh, KT drum trigger and this MIDI note number you set it to whatever you need yeah it was it was 36 for this so that first note's gonna count as zero and um, 
once you have the, everything kind of set up that way, you're going to want to go to your routing, and uh, for the track that has contact on it, you're going to create a receive, and make sure uh, you go to this audio down here and turn that off, and then MIDI, go to this first drop down here and select the first channel. And by, uh, by doing that, everything should be set up, and then you can uh, bring down the fader on this first, this first track, and you should be good to go. pretty cool right um, that's about all there is to it I mean well I'm sure there's a lot more to it that you could uh, you could experiment with and figure out but that's the basics and um, I mean this can you can pretty much do do this with anything really um, I actually don't even have to have the box on there to I can just hit the mic stand and it'll usually trigger it and uh, this is actually what I'm going to be using on the upcoming album I'm working on. It's going to I'm going to be uh, miking up a drum kit, but I don't have very good drum mics, so I'm going to actually be using the the mics as triggers. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff, and uh, I hope you find it helpful, and maybe it'll inspire some creativity in you. So um, thanks for watching.